So, bro, tell me how, how your business is doing and what you're doing with your business. I So, it's going great, actually. I'm planning on a drop uh, on 15th of February. I hope it's going to be good. But the, the small problem I have is probably the way I market it. I don't really know how to, you know, go and put it out and show it to the to the audience. Wait a minute, what's it happening on the 15th of February? I'm going to drop the, this project I've been working on. What project exactly? A lot of, like a lot of, you can say designs, like mm. a huge drop. You know what I mean? Okay. So until now, yeah. what have you done? A part of marketing, uh, projects, basically, what was your strategic plan with the, with the company? I mainly, I just use, you know, money into like, you know, the Instagram thing. They uh, tell you to, you know, if you want to promote your post or your story, etc. I use like five euro or 10 euro, depends on like, you know, the quantity or the design. And uh, yeah, that's mainly it. That's how I and post stories, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I think, bro, what you should do, and I'm guessing, what is your monthly budget? I don't really have a monthly budget. It depends on, you know, on the month, because maybe different months I get more sales, this and that. So Dude, around hello. 50 or 40. Yeah. <laughs> yes so you have around 40 euros 40 to 50 euros it depends you, on the month but yeah that's an you, estimate are you reinvesting the profits yeah of course i am but like, of course in every business you're gonna lose money you're gonna gain money so mm. okay but you're reinvesting you're goes. reinvesting everything that you make not not all of it of course no of course i want to put you know save some money but at the end of the month or at the end of the day, I have to reinvest that, you know, so I can get more, if that makes sense. Yeah, but you're not getting you can't just keep... the money that you make for that you make, the money that you make from the business and use it for other purposes. I do, I do. Like Why? I say, I you know, I pay my gym membership or I can just save the money. Why would you pay anything? From the, from the money I make. Yeah. Why would I use it? Yeah, in anything else except the business, because the business is like a baby; it needs to grow oh. and, it's, and it needs money to grow. Mm. So you need to keep the money yeah. in the business. I actually, opened my eye out. You need to keep it in the business, bro, for as long as possible. Mm. So, you, are yeah. you suggesting like you know I can reinvest in the business, like you know promote more? Yo, bro, I, I just think like in general you should. It, it depends on your goals and stuff. But if you're thinking like a long term profit, long term project, like ten years from now the business continues, and you're not mm -hmm. not looking to like create a short term project and just make money and leave, then I think that you should reinvest mm -hmm. the profits as much as possible. Of course, you will lose. I lose. Everyone loses. I lose hundreds of, uh, yeah. of dollars per month. That and like that's a small amount compared to some other people that I'm talking to, and. Um, Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you of course I, I think that you should reinvest the profits if you're gonna take this seriously and you're gonna turn it, turn this into a big brand. And since you told me that you don't have a big budget and stuff, and for the marketing plan, then I would suggest you I would suggest number one try to limit your cost as much as possible. I mm -hmm. think that if you're paying any rent for the for having a shop, then I don't know. I mm -hmm. think you should obviously have an option for people to order online and stuff. And uh, so build the bases online, like a website, of course. Uh, pro of course. photo, all right, all right, yeah, of course, mm -hmm. that's that's crucial. That's the main, is... I mean, yes. I have a website, but it's just like a portfolio for Instagram. I don't really consider it as a website you can order from, but okay, you, you should have it's important. So, and... I'm yeah, I'm looking for someone who can, like, you know, build a kind of you know, website I that you can, someone. like, oh, I want this. I yeah, someone. I would like to know who it is. Yeah. Okay, I would tell him it's around yeah. like I think I can get you to for him to do it around eighty dollars, which is seventy euros. That's pretty good. I have a talk with him. I have a talk with him. To be honest, it's really good. Definitely, I, I maybe will be out of your budget, but it's really good, and you kind of have to. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Also, I I think you. that right now you're targeting people around your area you know young age which is, which is yeah. larnaca not like international people i'm guessing for now <laughs> yes for now so i think you should obviously go on tiktok and post as much as possible mm -hmm. that's number one so you think tiktok is kind of like a main bro not main but like is it a strong social media of course of course bro what the frick you can get a lot of organic reach and i think 
you should build brand. What I mean by brand is like build your name. Nike doesn't that like Nike doesn't make a piece of content like a video or like an ad promoting you like hey our shoes are like our, mm -hmm. our shoes are eighty euros. They don't do that. They it's create. brand loyalty basically. Yes, bro. Nike Nike has a has 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 a brand. This this swoosh means something to mm -hmm. you. It's not like it gonna tell you, hey bro, like this is eighty euros only for like two days. Come and buy it. No. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do that. So the thing is with big companies like Nike and Gucci, the the strong the no the reason they get so many sales is that the brand name. The amount of people yeah, the brand brand loyalty and brand name. Like if so, you wear let's say mm. Nike, Gucci, you know, your value, but it mm. takes like two seconds to make the logo, you know what I mean? I so feel I, that's a big, really big um, I think that you should not promote content and say, Hey, like buy our stuff. No, just build brand, just provide value and just your your content it could be about your lifestyle. It could be about anything that you're interested in because it's clothing and stuff. It should, it should be uh, what are what are your values and stuff, you know? So post as much as possible on t on TikTok since people, you would target people from Cyprus. And I think you should go on Instagram and Twitter and target and see where people around your area are engaging and engage on their pieces of content, comment, like say, I don't know, if it's someone in the gym, say, hey, bro, nice biceps or whatever. Like you could go to, I don't know, to people from legacy. Interact and, more. That's what he's going to say. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be, be the community. You could go to be, likes from legacy's post and see who's liking and go to their content and say, hey, bro, nice post. You know, like just increase your brand awareness because if you don't have t if you don't have money to spend, then you should have some mm. other resource to give, which is time. Then you should engage with people. Time. You shouldn't say like under the post, hey, buy from us. It's only five ninety nine. Yeah. And the thing about is the long game. So you want like a community, you want like a brand and stuff. So once you make more money, then you can bring more people on. You can, you can maybe interview like potential customers that you want, which is, which you can, can make people you. interested in you. Yes, you can interview people like shop owners that can put your mm -hmm. merch, that, not merch, that can, yeah, that can like promote sponsors, your clothing, like, like Bershka that has like different clothes inside mm -hmm. not not exactly like that but you could you could uh, message people that have stores with clothes and just tell them to mm -hmm. bring them on the podcast and then tell them hey bro by the way like they could say at the end hey bro by the way show me some of your designs and stuff and they'll say like oh mm -hmm. cool i could have this on my in my store because this is what people do to be honest i i interview entrepreneurs and founders which are my potential mm -hmm. customers so after the podcast after learning from them and getting some of their insights and value, they asked me, hey, bro, by the way, what do you do? And I had this happen. I had this. This is how I got my first client to my agency. After the call, we said, hey, bro, mm -hmm. let's stay in contact and stuff. I'm like, we stayed in contact. And then he became my, my first and most successful customer and my most long customer. Ah. So you can interview mm -hmm. your potential customers, you know. So when you build it like a kind of community and like earn the respect, not respect, but like, you know, when you compliment other people in a way, mm. you can kind of kind of build like a basis around people saying, oh, like, I know you from from this comment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if you want to interact with them, you know, it's potential customer. Like you said, mm -hmm. that's that's really I opened my eye a lot. So mm -hmm. using my time more efficiently now. Yes. So, yeah, you, this is what you should do content and uh, TikTok podcasts instagram twitter Podcast, do you think you can use facebook so <laughs> so i think at the moment you shouldn't do podcasts because i, I think you don't have the res resources for it you should just no, like no, do no. the content that you're doing right now but post it more and make it more long i don't know 20 seconds or more you can have like different series that you're interested in and just make good videos and stuff and the videos that do well like reels have huge potential and just post as much as possible and engage as much as possible. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's it. Nothing else. Do you think there's more chances in, you know, let's say a post being viral, viral on Reels or TikTok? They have both have potential. Both have potential. They both. And, mm -hmm. and I think also So don't you Reels, think TikTok is like a have... growing... What do you mean? Like, is TikTok kind of like, you know, it's entering like those big social medias like you know instagram and it is the other twitter <laughs> it is yeah it is it, is, it has been dominating to, to mm -hmm. three years ago when i was on tiktok and everyone was making fun of me for being for like 10 year old girls 
and stuff. Now everyone's on TikTok. People are like, yeah, I like, know. Like you can you get viral on anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it's going to go away. It's going to go away. It's, it's the money supply. It's basic marketing stuff. So yeah. So yeah. So mm -hmm. in, in the short term, in the short term future, I think you should focus on what I said. And also in the long term future, as you make more and more money, you can pay for your posts and stuff. But yeah, you should pay for your posts and stuff. But I think the money that you save up right now, reinvest it in the business. Reinvest it. Reinvest it. In, in the mm -hmm. business and try to reduce yep. your cost. Say uh, maybe up for a website or like um, save it in the future for an editor for your podcast or use it for sponsorship mm -hmm. ads. There's so many possibilities you can do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's crazy because like now we have so much, you know, opportunities, you know, becoming something great. But some people take it for granted in a way, you know. But and, aside and I think that, you can hire someone. You can hire someone on your page, on your Instagram page, Twitter page, or like basically that's it to engage for you. Like you can hire them. I have an. I have for... a question. No. Do you think you can do that? Like, let's say I, no, I'm not gonna hire you, but you know I can pay you. Like, you know, just say like you know you go and engage with the community. No. Like, are you that kind of space? Okay, no. Nope. Right. I, I, what do you really do? Like, what I, kind of... So, basically, I have I have a company that does, like, marketing and media. Media? So, so media. Whatever, I, whatever, I, whatever I think is the most best place for you to promote your stuff, I build a team around it. So, like, I have a team around content. I have a ah. team around... Now I'm building a team around... So, you around, suggest like, people you can help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, this is what I do. Perfect. And... Um, Perfect. So yeah, is what I do. And so yeah, you can hire someone to engage also for you and just engage like, bro, you don't ask for anything. Brand, brand, not sales, brand. Then that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So engaging with the community is a key to build, you for know, sure. just for sure. potential customers. For sure. Perfect. Of course, 24 seven, post, engage, post, engage, post, engage, engage. And, your, post. and your website, and your website ASAP. <sighs> Like as soon as possible, really. People should buy from your website. So you think it's easier for people to look at a website than you know to go on my Instagram and DM me, etc. Yeah, bro. The people don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Why would people want to talk to you? That's true. They just want right. to go there, choose what they want at their own pace, at their own time. They don't. They don't have to ghost you, bro. The thing is, if if I build a website, I don't have the um, you know the delivery let's say you know what i mean what do you mean like i don't have someone deliver the product unless i have to send it by uh, ACS, you know, mail you but it's, it's a bit expensive is it they can pay three dollars okay, three euros can they pay three euros for a yeah. 20 euro t-shirt to come in one yeah, day there's many alternatives yeah bro it's a acs <laughs> comes in one day and it can you can you said acs yeah bro ACS ACS courier. I think you pay. You can make a deal with them also for companies, and that they give you like a small discount. But I think you can send a T-shirt for like twenty for twenty euros for like three euro shipping, and it comes. Oh, perfect. If if it's in the morning, it can go. It it can come until noon and stuff. Mm -hmm. so it's really fast. So I don't think people will care about that if you build the brand. So building the brand is 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 first. You should. All right, that actually opened my eyes. So I'm using time more for it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Content. Thank you. Content, brand, engaging, and website. And consistency too. Bro, that's. Stay that's consistent common. with it. Yes. Of course. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Have take a good care. night, bro. You too. All right, take care, bro.